Hello, it's Lee here. Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another 10 minute collage challenge. Now this challenge is an open challenge and it's hosted by Wooly Steph. So there's a link to her channel in my description box. I'm doing all of my collages from Daphne's Diary magazine that I've got here. There's not much of this left now. I've, it's not that I've been doing these ones or out of this book. This is just an old magazine so I thought rather than have the little bits left over I would actually use them for something and um, try and get rid of what's left of this magazine. And I've also got here some images that I cut out that I was using on uh, you know I was making some journaling cards and things so got bits left over from that and in amongst it was this awesome uh, beautiful uh, flower image that I know came from the from one of the covers so I'm going to use that as my focal point for today's collage so I'll just pop that up there got a few things here got that got my glue got my scissors um, I think I'm organized today and I've got my timer so 10 minutes let's get cracking so the first thing I want to do oh, this is my little book that I knocked up just for this challenge I just want to cover the page in something so I'm going to look for neutrally sort of stuff so that's nice one day I'm going to just cut my pages my pieces up instead of tearing them surprise everybody <laughs> I do love a torn edge so I'm just going to put down some big pieces to cover the background quickly and then I'll put some smaller pieces in front and then I'll put my focal point in there so this looks pretty safe and tame doesn't it? I don't think it needs to be all that that big there so let's take that bit off I don't know about anybody else but you know you, you find you don't you know you do something that you really love for a while and then you see something else and you go off and start doing something else, some other style or another type of thing so to speak and then all of a sudden something reminds you you see somebody else doing what it was that you loved to do back in the day and you think oh I really need to get back in and do some more of that and the same thing happened when I was I was watching YouTube on my television and it just randomly put stuff up of course and there was an art journal page came up from Maremi from Marta Maremi Small Art and I thought it's so long since I've actually done anything in my art journals really need to get back into doing some of that so um, yeah look forward to seeing one or two videos in that regard. Okay so my background is covered now so I just need to put in a few little accents. Um, what can I pop in there? Not right, I don't want any more writing in there. What have we got here? Writing. Oh, this looks nice. Strip of gardens because that will go well with my flower image. Have a look. Something like that. I don't really want to cover up the pink. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that... Let me check that out again. So there's my flower. Pretty sure it was standing this way. It wasn't, it was part of a grouping that was on the page. I 
I was going to try and get all of that in, but I think that sort of clashes a little bit with the, my focal point. So, oh, hang on, what's this? Um, let's see how it looks with that behind it instead. No. Go back to plan A. Okay, so I'm going to just put that right across there. And now this is shiny, so I'm going to have to use a little bit of a more substantial glue. Glue stick isn't really suitable for this um, type of paper. It's glossy. And it will stick it down, but it's a bit thick and I think it just needs control of something like this art glitter glue. Mm, that looks lovely. I really like that already. Don't know that it needs to have too much more done to it. I've got my black um, drawing pens here, so I might just do a little bit of scribbling on there. Maybe a little bit of gesso, just in a couple of places. Just a couple. And I love to apply my gesso with my finger, but it's getting a little bit low in the container, so you need to get my whole hand in there to get it out, so I'm just going to get some out with the paintbrush and take it off the paintbrush. Just here. Just want to cover up those uh, intersecting lines there, just a little bit. And maybe just a bit more there. Zero point seven, I should say. I'm just going to scribbly outline this um, whoops, flower. can I put on there? Maybe just some little parks. And the date is the 20th, so this is finished already and I've still got two minutes to go. So I'm just going to put the 20th, or the 5th, 2023, and I'm going to pause that. Still got two minutes and one second to go. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. How quick was that? So what did I stick down? One, two, three, four pieces plus my focal point. Five pieces of paper. A little bit of gesso on the uh, intersections of the paper. Bob's your uncle. Got yourself a collage. I well, hope that inspires you to go on and um, just 
do something like this put that time uh, limit on yourself you just, just don't have the time to dilly dally and overthink anything you just sort of got to get it down and um, I, I'm loving the idea of just having to use you know like I've, I've put this uh, discipline on myself to use what's left of this Daphne's Diary magazine so, so here is today's little effort 10 minute college challenge don't forget to check out the hashtag so it's 10 the number 10 minute collage and uh, as I say there'll be a link to Steph's channel in my video description box you can have a look at um, her video she's got one that explains how the challenge works and uh, I'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching hope you all subscribe thumbs up and leave a comment so thanks for watching cheers from Australia hooroo bye